Hey Jay, um, I'm going to make this video rather short because it's just easier to reply to you in a meaningful way. And I do want you to finish uh, the semester in a good way and um, you know have this all um, done, I guess. Um, you know, given the amount of time you've invested in learning the material for this course, um, you know, you'll want to just, um, you know, end strongly. So let's... Um, because you weren't there on the day when we kind of did the review um, for the exam itself. Let me talk a little bit about the structure of it in terms of it being uh, cumulative. Um, not a lot I can add here to this, right? So do look at the study guide that is uh, posted um, in La Lima under exam three prep. There's 30 multiple choice questions. 21 are from the new material. That would be chapters 11, 13, 14, and 15. And then there's nine questions out of the older material. Most of it's coming from chapter three, five, six, and seven. So now what does that mean? What would I do if I were you? Given the degree to which you've studied the material, I would look over the slides for 11, 13, 14, and 15. Now, I know that you had a um, uh, tortured relationship with uh, Quiz 4. With that said, there was some important material on it, primarily with uh, the banking question and the balance sheet that was there. So you would want to look over that. Um, and I believe that comes from Chapter 13. Um, the... In terms of the old material, would I go through the slides of chapter three, five, six, and seven? Probably not. Um, what I would do is I'm not grabbing questions from the old exams, but I would just look over those exams again. You did pretty well on both of them. So I think there's a fair extent to which you could just wing it and you'd be okay. But if you'd like to be over prepared, I would just suggest you look over exam one and two and just be comfortable and familiar with being able to answer those questions again. Because in some sense, these questions are not the same questions as you had on those exams, but they are inspired by it. There are two short answer questions. One is from the new material, and one is from the old material. The old material short answer question is something you should be able to reasonably answer um, with even limited knowledge, uh, primarily of uh, supply and demand. And um, the, that was a hint, by the way, <laughs> of what the old question is. And then for the new, um, the new material, um, I would focus my attention on banking, uh, for the most part, um, and how monetary policy is at work, and not the fiscal policy. Okay, um, I think that pretty much answers all of your questions. Would you review current questions? Yeah, so again, I wouldn't look at all the slides all the way back to the beginning. Chapter three, five, six, seven are the most important cumulative, are the only important cumulative chapters. And I think you can study those adequately by just looking at the old exams. Okay, Jay, I hope that saves you a ton of time uh, just by talking about it clearly. And if you have other questions, I'm sure I will leisurely reply to you in my typical sense of the um, rush before everything else. Okay, Jay.